What's up everyone, this is Cybernat8610, and today we have a very special Halloween episode of Top 10. The Top 10 Scariest Yu-Gi-Oh! Cards. Of course this is Top 10 as in artwork scary cards. Not so much in effect scary cards, that would be a totally different list of course, because there's a lot of scary cards because just of their effects in the game. So yeah, here we go. First off, we have number 10, Garma Sword. Garma Sword is one of the freakiest cards out there. It's a card that's from the tournament pack, a ritual monster nonetheless, and uh, it's, it's freaking, you know, six arms, each one having a sword, which kind of looks like a butcher knife, even. And uh, he looks like he's freaking screaming. Like, you, you can just kind of imagine this this creature, like, running after you, like, in the dark or something. It's just one of the scariest-looking cards out there. I think it's only been in tournament packs, too. I don't think it's ever had a reprint. And there's probably a good reason for that, because it'll give kids nightmares. It's one of the weirdest things. And even that, like, cone thing's on both sides of its head, I don't know. It, it doesn't even look like it should be a warrior monster, really. It looks like a fiend more than that to me, because it just just so freaky looking. And yeah, it's just kind of like your horror movie Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> All right, now for number nine. This one, I wanted to have on the list just because of what it is, but I wouldn't say it's scary, more or less creepy, or in a way kind of sad. And that is Skulldog Marin. This card, if you remember reading a lot of the older cards, you know, and they have like lures and stuff on like normal monsters, uh, this dog has had several different iterations. It's had where it was its normal dog and it was waiting for its owner. Then it has, you know, this like skull version of it because it kept waiting for its owner. So it's kind of like a Futurama sort of thing. If you've seen that episode, saddest episode that's ever been on TV ever. And uh, then there's even like a robot version of this dog. Uh, just thinking about this though, the part that seems scary is just think about this dog just like you're walking somewhere and you see this and it's like a skeleton dog. That's pretty scary. <laughs> just think about that. Although this situation and story is very sad, if I ever saw this dog, I'd be scared. I'd be running away from it. So yeah, that's the reason I still think it deserves a spot on this list. Alright, next up, number eight, we have Parasite Parasit. Not so much for our artwork of it. The TCG artwork, it was censored, so it's just kind of weird looking. But the artwork for the OCG, the Japanese artwork, is freaking just creepy. It's like this thing's taken over this guy's face. It's like a knight looking guy and it's just like taking over his whole side of his face. Even part of it coming out of his like nose and his mouth. Yeah, children's card game. <laughs> you can kind of see that's... I can understand censoring that artwork. There's a few artworks where I'm like, really? You know, but this one... I get that one. That's That would give nightmares to kids. And so yeah, that one has to have one of the scariest or creepiest artworks out there. Next up. We have for number seven, Clown Zombie. I don't like clowns, so I had to put this on the list. Everybody likes zombies, I guess, in a way, until, you know, you actually have some of them chasing you, I'm sure. And uh, a freaking clown zombie, that ain't right. <laughs> That's why it has to be on the list. I mean, it, even the artwork of it is just one of the creepiest things. I mean, it, that will just give you nightmares, too. I remember seeing this card when I was younger, and I was like, oh, God, it's just one of the like, scariest looking Yugi cards out there. So yeah, I mean, it's just looking at the thing still just gives you the creeps. Right, for number six, we have Fiend Comedian. Again, kind of like what Parasite Paris said, the TCG artwork, it's kind of creepy, but, you know, it's kind of more cartoonish, so it's not really scary or anything. But if you look at the Japanese artwork, yeah, again, I understand why they censored this card. Uh, it's just, I don't even understand what's going on. They just look just cannibalistic, like fiend monster things. I don't know, it's just, I prefer the TCG artwork any day. Alright, next up, for number five, we have Gimmick Puppet Dreary Doll. Gimmick puppets are kind of creepy anyway. You look at any of them and they're just kind of like gothic looking or, you know, I don't really like puppets either, you know, any kind of horror movie that has like puppets or something, that's kind of weird too. So that's kind of the reason why Gimmick Puppets kind of give me the creeps. But this card, it's like a little girl that's in a casket. It's kind of out there. I've seen the Korean artwork where it looks like like it's a doll given as a present, like the casket is like a, a box for with a bow on it and everything, which is kind of funny censoring when you, when you get down to it, changing a casket into a present. So it looks like, you know, somebody got the doll as a present or something instead of like a, a dead kid in a box. <laughs> I mean, come on! That artwork is just, just kind of weird. Maybe not as much scary as creepy, you know? It's just one of the weirdest artworks out there. A lot of the gimmick puppets have that, but this one, because it, it looks like a dead kid, and that's just weird. I mean, that, you wouldn't think that would be a Yu-Gi-Oh card, honestly. Number four, we have Dark Necrofear. One of the cards that gave me the creeps back in the day, when this, whenever this one was popular, I remember Bakura used it, and yeah, I mean, just looking at it, it, it looks 
like the devil it itself, you know, like oh, I guess a female version of the devil. I don't know. It, it's just one of the weirdest looking things, and it even has it looks like it has a gimmick puppet or something. Maybe it killed one. I don't know. That's what it kind of looks like. It has a doll in its hand, and it just just gives me the creeps. I remember Bakura always using some of the weirder cards anyway, kind of darker and you know, like whether it be zombie or fiend types, you know, just kind of creepy looking. This one really takes the cake. I always thought this was one of the scariest cards out there. So yeah, Dark Necrofear definitely earns the spot at number four. Number three, we have, yes, another gimmick puppet. Gimmick puppet Egghead. This one, I, what do I say? <laughs> what the heck happened to Humpty Dumpty? Oh god, this is one of the creepiest things ever. Uh, just that hair and everything, I don't know, it's just, that card just kind of creeps me out even more. Uh, it's not really what I guess that's scary, but you can't tell me that if you saw this card that you wouldn't run away screaming like a little girl. I mean, because, God, that's just weird looking. I don't know, like I said before though, I don't like clowns, I don't really like puppets or like doll-like things like that. They kind of give me the creeps. So maybe it's just me, but golly, that card is just, I mean, I'm looking at it right now and it's just creepy. All right, for number two, yet again, I know you kind of see a theme with this, and that's Malice Doll of Demise. Uh, whenever I took a break from Yu-Gi-Oh, I came back, you know, around the time of Soul of the Duelist, which is when this card came out. And I remember getting this card, I was like, God, what in the world? I, I see Yu-Gi-Oh still has their, you know, their creepy cards here and there. You know, there was always a few of those, especially back in the day. It seems like, you know, first two, first two or three packs or so. Uh, they had a lot more of those like really creepy cards, you know, that were a lot of normal monsters. They were relatively weak, but they were just, you know, really creepy. I mean, what else can you say? And so yeah, after I saw this one, I realized that, yeah, they kind of stuck with that theme. And this card is just, uh, just one of the weirdest things ever. I believe it was in GX when they used it. And uh, just seeing it actually animated too, it's creepy. I mean, it's a, like a doll, like Chucky or, or something, or like that doll from Goosebumps with a freaking axe. Do I need to say more? That's just weird. And number one, the scariest looking Yu-Gi-Oh card, and that is Necroface. Again, I, and I kind of think, you know, maybe that is something with Yu-Gi-Oh or something, but it's another doll, but it's like a doll's face that's like taken over by something. I don't really know what it is. I mean, it's some kind of monster, I guess. It almost looks like a, a heart or something. That's what it kind of looks like to me, you know, because whatever's coming out of its face, I don't know. It's just freaking creepy. I imagine this thing like floating and chasing you or something, it's just... Oof. Like I said, this could be just me on, on my list because, you know, the whole doll things are kind of creepy, but man, there, there is kind of a theme with that on Yu-Gi-Oh! And I <laughs> really haven't even noticed it until now. So yeah, what do you guys think about this list? What are, what are the cards that you think are the creepiest cards of Yu-Gi-Oh! You could say, you know, what you think is the creepiest or have your own top 10 list. I'd like to see it for myself. As always, thank you guys for watching though. I hope you enjoyed this Halloween episode and uh, I hope everyone has a happy Halloween and a safe Halloween. Alright, so yeah, thank you for watching. Remember to come rate, subscribe, and tell me what should be our next top 10 list or video in general. I'd love to hear, you know, different ideas that you guys want to see. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.